Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, if you're new to charts and not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer a quick explanation video right there at that link. So go to there and I'll explain it to you in detail. I did this analysis on Monday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And after the pullback here today, some updates here and want to get put in a place. First update that needs to be done comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So in the near term, if there is any sort of attempted bounce back to the upside, this $31.90 mark gonna be that first key level. And then also you have 31, or excuse me, 32.25 up there. But before you start talking about doing battle at all with 32.25, one hurdle at a time, that again, that first key hurdle right there at 31.90. Now, as far as levels of support are concerned, this is an area that a whole lot of people are gonna be watching on Wednesday. Not only is it just an overall level of support, based off the fact that this was a previous area of resistance, but then you also combine that with the fact that now that purple line right there, the famous 50 period cent moving average is essentially right at that same area. So right here, a whole lot of eyeballs have taken notice and are gonna be watching that. So this is not some sort of great discovery on my part. And I bring all that up because when a lot of people are watching the same level and wondering the same thing, call it a self-fulfilling prophecy, call it whatever you want. It can produce some very dynamic price movements. So let's see if the price can maintain above 3140 or not. If the price does not hold above it, the next key overall level of support would be down here around this gap close location at we'll just call it $31. And while there is no such thing as a guarantee in the market, if there is, especially if there's a higher volume break of 3140, it would not be shocking at all to see the price then potentially drift down to uh, the $31 mark, if not even maybe a little bit lower than that. But I don't wanna get too far ahead of ourselves one step at a time. So again, near term wise, as far as supports, 3140 as far as resistances up there at 3190, and then more so overarching levels from resistance standpoint, 3225, and then down here at 31. So uh, definitely uh, things are picking up a whole lot more here, so we'll see how this one continues to play out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.